stress relief. In this class, we'll pay deeper attention to yourself, your breath, and how you move freely in your body. Let's just forget the surrounding for a moment. Yeah. <sighs> 
the shoulder and release. Over to the other side, left hand on top of my right knee and I'm going to twist the spine, keep the spine long, press your right hand on the floor and we rotate. Right, open the feet, kind of mat width apart. And I want you to stretch the arms. All right, as well to the corner of the mat. So feet to the corner of the mat and arms to the corner of the mat. Just excuse me for one second. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Stretch the arms, stretch the leg here. Okay, now I want you to, I want you to inhale. Think about pulling. The legs and the arms, reach out, reach out, reach out, exhale, release. Again, inhale, reach the legs, reach the arm, pull away, pull apart, and exhale, release. And again, inhale, reach out. Can you find the biggest stretch you possibly can in this position? And exhale, release. Now I want you to take your left foot off and I want you to reach the left foot across to the right leg, stretching away in a diagonal position, reach that leg away and then come back, ribs in, lower back down and then leg down. Over to the other side, right leg over the left and stretch that leg away. I want you to pull the opposite arm and shoulder away from that leg. So my right arm and right shoulder reaching up and right leg and I'm bringing my body back down to the floor. And now my right arm is going to go across towards my left arm, keeping my right leg reaching away from me, stretch it out. Release the kings out of the body and then come back. And over and left hand, right arm, reach out, reach away, stretching my left leg away from my, my left arm and then come back and return. Okay, go ahead and bring your arms down by the side, bend the knees. Okay, and bring my body down a little bit on the mat. Okay, so feet are hip width apart, knees are hip width apart, arms are long, shoulders open, neck is long. Let's reconnect with your breath. I want you to inhale, lateral breathing, and then exhale. Bring your attention to your center. And again, inhale one more time. And exhale, drawing the center and bring attention to your center. Let's move on with some pelvic rocks. And an inhale. And then as you exhale, drawing the center in, I want you to rock the pelvis. I want you to press the lower back down to the floor. Keep the abdominal scoop here. So imprinting the lower back down and then come back to that neutral pelvic position. Again, exhale. Drawing the belly, just rocking, rocking, imprinting the lower back down and then release the pelvis back to the neutral. Again, exhale, in with the center, curling the pelvis and an inhale, release. Two more times and exhale, just rocking, bring your attention to the mobility of the pelvis and then release. Last one and rocking and I'm bringing it back to the neutral and now we're going to move on to some pelvic clocks so which is you're going to draw into that imprint position lower back down now I need to press the right hip down and then rotate the pelvis in a clockway direction or a clock like direction so I'm going to bring my left hip down lower back down right hip down and I'm tailbone down and again left and then right and then tailbone down. So you're creating a circle or circular movement in the pelvis. Just mobilizing the pelvis. One more time, lower back, right, tail and left hip down and come back to the center. 
other direction, rolling. So drawing the belly in, rolling the lower back down to the floor and the left hip will press down and the tail and then the right. And again, keep making that, creating that circular movement in the pelvis. And I want you to keep that knees rather quiet. Okay, so the knees are not swaying left and right here. So bring your attention into the mobility of the pelvis. One more, left hip down, tailbone, right hip down, and then center back to the middle. Okay, moving on to some pelvic curl here. So breathe out, go ahead and draw the belly in, curl the lower back down. Now I want you to start peeling the spine up, up, up to the bridge position. Inhale, hold, reaching the arms long, neck nice and long. Exhale, we roll it down. Articulate, melting the back down one bone at a time and then lengthen the pelvis to the end. Again, exhale, drawing the abdominal in. I want you to rock the pelvis with a scoop of the abdominal. So deep scooping, deep flexion of the spine and then take yourself up to the bridge. Now hold here, I want you to feel like a human tug of war. I want you to think, think about the pelvis, sorry, the pelvis and the, the thigh bone to reach out of the waistline and the neck to reach out of the shoulder. And I feel, you wanna feel like someone's pulling your arms down towards your feet. And the hamstrings and the glutes are working hard here. And exhale, melt down, use your breath. To take your body down and then release. One last one. We exhale, deep scoop, deep flexion of the spine and peeling off, peeling off, peeling off, peeling off, peeling off. Inhale, neck long, arms reaching. Exhale, melting, 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 melting. Beautiful. Okay, now holding the center nice and stable, I want you to extend or slide the left leg long, keeping the pelvis stable, and then come back and slide it again. Two more, inhale, slide the left leg long, stabilize the pelvis, stabilize the spine, exhale. One more, inhale, slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it. Exhale. Now let's add the opposite arm. So your left leg slides down and the right arm goes overhead. Now I want you to allow the right rib cage to slide down to your center so you're not pushing that ribs up, but instead allowing the chest bone to relax down. And then bring it back. And again, inhale. Connect to your breath, keeping the ribs connected to your center. Exhale. One more, inhale, connect your breath, reaching out, stretching the legs, stretching the arm without pulling the ribs up to the ceiling. Exhale, and then we switch over to the other side. So the, my right leg will slide out as I inhale, my pelvis and my abdominal stay stable. Exhale, sorry, I'm in my pelvis and my lower back stay stable. I'm gonna slide the right leg out again as you inhale, and then exhale throwing out the pelvic floor as you bring the leg in. And one more, inhale, reach the leg, reach, 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 pull up the abdominal, exhale. Let's add the opposite arm. We're gonna inhale, slide the leg and the arm, opposite arm. So right leg, left leg, and then exhale. Keeping the connection of the rib cage to your pelvis here. So when you take the arm up, again, you do not arch your back and bring the chest up and exhale. So you're just focusing on the joint of the hip, the right hip and the left shoulder. Exhale, let's do one more time. Inhale, slide away, reach it out, reach it out. And then exhale, very good. Let's float both arms up to the ceiling. Palms facing to each other here, okay? Again, I want that rib cage here, or this rib cage to glide or slide down towards the waistline, all right? So now I want you to open the arm. I'm gonna bring the palm facing up to the ceiling and the fingertips 
drawing down to the floor as you open the arm and then bring the fingertips up to the ceiling as you exhale and bring the arms back again fingertips to the ceiling and then to the side and down to the floor as you inhale and then fingertips up as you exhale and then inhale you're gonna feel that nerve stretch in the inside of the arm as you take your arms down we inhale allow the chest to be open exhale allow the center to be active one more time inhale and an exhale and then I want you to just give yourself a little nice hug deep inhalation and exhale allow the chest to release good job open the arms up to the side in a T position bringing your knees and your feet together squeezing the inner thighs tight now we need to lift the heels up pointing the feet to the floor moving on to our supine spine twist so rotating the spine towards me as you inhale this is my left and my oh, your opposite shoulder will stay down exhale come back rotate the spine back to the middle over to the other side as you inhale i'm going to turn my head over to the left and then exhale and again inhale yeah i'm going to turn my head over to the right as i turn my leg to the left exhale to give yourself a little freedom in that twist and then exhale the twist of the neck that is and again over to the left head to the right exhale and last one leg to the right head to the left exhale all right floating one leg up to the table second leg up to the table squeezing the legs tight now let's move on again same thing we're going to inhale rotate towards the left and then exhale back to the center over to the right opposite shoulder down exhale and center and an inhale paying attention to your abdominal muscle as the abdominal muscle that actually control this movement and one more each side and exhale last one over to the other side as you inhale and an exhale come back lower one foot down and then second one down okay and I want you to stretch your right leg down on the floor and I want you to grab the left knee and now pull that left leg towards your shoulder I wanted to compress that left hip bone down all right now I want you to just inhale compress down to the ground as you exhale I need to release the pelvis to the floor if you have to lift the pelvis up and again inhale compress that thigh bone towards the floor and exhale release the pelvis the pelvis the bottom down to the floor one more time inhale pressing pressing exhale and release that sliding the left leg down and then bringing the right leg up grabbing grabbing the hands on the shin and then pulling that right thigh towards the outside of the right ribs and then towards your shoulder your right shoulder and armpit and an inhale compress exhale release ground the pelvis down and an inhale and exhale so I need to I wanted to achieve a deep deep compression in the right hip one more inhale and exhale good job and now bringing both knees up okay some hip circle here we need to bring the knees together and then bring the thigh towards you and then open and then together just breathing inhale and exhale inhale so it's kind of like stirring a pot of soup with ladles here so we're going to inhale creating a circular movement of the thigh and exhale keeping the pelvis grounded and exhale 
the other direction, please. And out, and and then out in, together and away. And then out in, and away. Two more. And last one. And then bring the legs together. And a lower one foot down, and a second one down. You should feel nice and sort of free your pelvis and hip at this point. And now interlace the fingers at the back of your head. Place your hands down. And then elbows can come off a little bit off the floor here. We're gonna move on to a chest lift. Now, to inhale. And as you exhale, again, slide the rib cage down. And then bring your chest up into a chest lift here hold we're gonna inhale take your arms forward reach arms long exhale interlace and in down and again exhale inhale reach exhale inhale down again exhale inhale reach and an exhale, inhale down, one more, and exhale, inhale, reach, and exhale, inhale down, all right, coming up again, exhale, we come up, now rotate to the left, take the right arm on the outside of your thigh, and come back to center, rotate to the right, left arm, and center, exhale, inhale, exhale, other side, inhale, center, exhale, twist, inhale, center, exhale, twist, inhale, last set, in breath, last one, and center, hold, coming down. All right, take your arms up to the ceiling here. Now over, bring your arms overhead, and again, allow the ribs to release down. This is gonna keep you chest nice and calm, and your body a lot more grounded, okay? Now from here, breath out. Taking the arms, follow by the chest lift, coming up into your hundreds prep position. Inhale, arms up and then return the back down. And again, exhale, arms up, followed by the chest lift. Inhale, arms, and then return down. Again, exhale, we lift. Inhale, arms, and then back. Two more, exhale, we lift. In her arms and back. One more time. Exhale. Shoulders nice and easy. Inhale, arms up. And then come back down. We're going to float one leg up to the tabletop and then draw in the center dip, second leg up to the tabletop. Okay, moving on to a hundred. So we breathe out. We'll lift that chest. Now I want you to take your legs up to the ceiling. You can also keep in tabletop and we stay on in breath. And exhale, we pump. And inhale. Paying attention to your breath. Can you transfer all that breath from the shoulder down to that bottom ribs, to the belly, the belly button deflating the abdominal in, thinking about lateral breathing, expansion of the ribs sideways, reaching the arms forward, neck nice and easy. One more inhale, and an exhale, and an in breath, and then we fold naked. Lower one foot down, second one down, and then release. Deep inhalation for one. Exhale. Grab the back of your thigh, 
lift the head and the chest up squeeze that knees together here guys i want you to just peel the heels up bringing the leg up again bending the elbow i want you to start rocking rocking rock the spine three more times and i'm going to take your body up to seated position one more and then coming up well done okay now moving on to rolling like a ball i want you to grab the hands and the shin of the legs the shin bone and now bringing the heels up balancing on your tailbone and now i need to peel the feet up feet off the floor drawing the center towards the back of the spine your gaze will be towards the center shoulders easy neck is long take an in breath just for a second exhale release that shoulder and let's go inhale we roll back and an exhale inhale and exhale in breath and exhale three more and exhale two and exhale less and exhale feet down lift the spine tall 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 and just stay here inhale exhale shoulders easy neck nice and easy all right stretch your legs forward please okay now take the arms forward we're going to do your roll up here so nice and tall to start and then i want you to draw the abdominal in bringing yourself into that c curve position now taking care that your neck is not crunched up shoulders easy neck is long a nice beautiful curve you want to achieve in the spine and so that you don't slouch down and the belly protrude out so scoop the belly in and then pull up and over your hips all right from here breath out we're going to rock the pelvis back curling down sacrum on the floor low back on the floor and now let's take your arms up to the seal sorry not to the ceiling over your head inhale arms lift chest lift exhale pull up reach coming up into the c curve in breath and then exhale we're gonna rock the pelvis we're gonna go into a deep deep flexion of the spine and then the arms come overhead again inhale into a chest lift exhale pull up 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 into that c curve again roll back 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 deep 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 flexion arms overhead inhale last one here into the chest lift arms forward exhale lift up lift up lift up lift up and then lift the spine tall okay let's take your arms overhead here okay nice and long with the arms and then i want you to just pull the arms back for 10 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and release taking your hands behind you we'll move on to your back support so the feet can come a little bit apart pressing the palms down proud open chest we press the heels we lift the pelvis we bring the pelvis sorry we bring the chest up with an open heart and then hinge down again open heart open chest three more and then press up neck long and then in and then down two more reach and then in down last one reach and then come back come back good job all right taking the arms forward we're going to flex the feet i want it to open 
the feet wider than your pelvis, keeping the spine tall. We'll go into a spine stretch. We breathe out, we articulate the spine down. And then lean forward towards the end, in breath. Exhale, rolling up the spine, coming up into one straight line, upright position. Again, exhale, articulate down, hinge forward, in breath. And then exhale, we come up and tall. And again, exhale, articulate, finding that mobility, sorry, <clears throat> of the spine as you come up and you go down and release. Bring your feet together, all right? Round that back, let's go down. Roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. Arms by the side, bend the knees for me, guys. All right, so feet, Math, uh, sorry, hip width apart, knees hip width apart, arms nice and long. Let's go into shoulder bridge prep. So we're gonna scoop the belly in, curl that back down, and I'm peeling up the spine, coming up onto the bridge position, okay? Stabilize the pelvis here. Shoulders easy, pressing the right feet down, bringing the left leg up to the table top, okay? We inhale, we tap. We exhale, inhale, tap, exhale, inhale, tap, exhale, two more, tap, last one, tap, take the foot down, adjust the pelvis, press the left foot down, and then the right one comes up, and an inhale, exhale, in breath. Focus on the breath. Bring your attention to the pelvis stability. Two more time. Last one. Taking the foot down, lift the pelvis, and then we roll the spine down, down, and down. Okay, turn your body to the side, please. Knees together, taking your arms long in front of you. Gonna move back a little bit. Now I wanna have your feet aligned with the body. Head release down here, arms reaching out. Okay, now I want you to reach the top arm. And then I want to bring the arm overhead. Rotate the body, looking back and then down. And we go inhale, reaching. And I'm bringing overhead, I want you to trail the fingertips on the floor. And again, one more, inhale, reach it out. Rotate the body, opening up the chest, and then come back to the center. Now reverse, reach, and then down. We open the chest, arms up, overhead, and then reach, and then down, and then we open arms. Okay, one more time, reach it out, and then down. And then we open the arm up overhead, and then come back to the center. Okay, bringing the bottom arm long underneath you, and stretch your legs long, both of your legs long on the floor. We can take your arms to the side here. If this is too challenging, you can place your hands down onto the floor. We breathe up, pulling up the belly, reaching the legs, lifting up, and we go down. And again, exhale, lift, inhale. And then find that stability in the abdominal as you take the legs up. And then the feet stay together. And one more. And an inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen and take it down. All right, bring yourself up, bending the knee into a little mermaid position like so here. Okay, now I want you to take your arms out to the side here. Now I want you to tip the body diagonally, placing the bottom arm down to the floor, creating a nice straight line from the underneath arm to the top arm here. And then palms up, folding, not folding, lowering the bottom elbow down, 
bring yourself into a nice lateral stretch in reach out exhale inhale one more and exhale coming up into that diagonal position now the top arm is facing forward and then from here as you breathe out we twist 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 and an inhale we open and again exhale rotate 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 inhale and then one more exhale and an inhale and and then coming up and release over to the other side please so all right we're gonna take the arms forward stack up the legs feet aligned with the body arms stacked up and then from here reach the top arm we're gonna circle the arms up overhead and then we're gonna bring it open and then down to the body and again inhale reach as far as you can and then open allow the chest to open and allow the body to melt down to the floor this is such a great stretch to give you a nice relaxation my favorite and then forward arms together reverse reach and then down and then we open the arms on the floor and then trail it up over your head and then in front of your body and then we go down to the back up and front body one more down and back up and front and together okay moving on to our side lift so bottom arms long stretch the legs stack the legs arms long by the side and then drawing the center you breathe out to lift 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 and we go down and an exhale lift 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 and we go down and again exhale lift 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 we go down one more time and lift 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 Oop, lost myself and we go down down good job all right help yourself up come up okay so on to our mermaid position here all right arms along by the side here to the side like so i want you to tip the body over diagonally but i want you to keep the spine rather long okay now softening the bottom elbow taking the top arm over for a lateral stretch here we're going to inhale reach and exhale and again inhale reach it up and exhale and then come up into that diagonal position again and then we'll add the rotation so we twist the body as you exhale inhale we open and again exhale twist and then inhale and again let's do one more twist I can never remember how many times I do on the other side. Let's just, I'm guessing it's three. Let's come up, come up, and then release. Onto our front, please. Okay, now I want you to go onto your forearm here. We're going to the single leg kick. Right, now strong forearm, grounding on the floor. Turn your hand into a little fist here. Now, shoulders open. Now I want you to allow the chest bone to expand and allow the neck to sprout, to grow tall out of the shoulder. Okay, and pick up the lower abs, please. All right, strong position here. All right, now floating the legs up. And then we'll go exhale. Inhale. Keep breathing. Do not slouch. Stay tall. Inhale. And. And. 
two more set. Last set. And stretch the leg away, lengthen up the back, and release. And I want you to help yourself off or push yourself off into a rest position. So bring the pelvis to your heels, stretching the arms away, actively stretching the arms away. Neck is long. Inhaling, lengthening the tailbone down to the floor. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And I want you to help yourself up. Roll up. Roll up. And I want you to go ahead and sit down with a cross leg again facing me. Okay. Well done. I want you to give your shoulder a good massage with your arms. I want you to squeeze the shoulder with your palm, just squeezing tight. And exhale, there you go. And squeeze that shoulder tight. And exhale, one more, squeezing. Exhale, good job. Taking your arms forward and open the arm, flex the wrist, push. Let's bring your palms, let's bring your fingertip facing up. Push the hand on each side. Open up that chest. Allow the shoulder to ease down. Pushing, pushing, pushing. And then release. Give yourself a little self hug here. Okay. A little self love here. I want you to inhale, breathing. Opening the ribs sideways into your hands. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it, let it go. Hands interlace to the back. Okay. Now bring the arms up. Allow the chest to open. And then just fold your body down, forward in front of you. Head down if you can. All right, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. And we'll roll up, roll up, roll up. Opening up the chest, releasing the chest and let go of the arms. Bring your hands together in front of your chest. Close your eyes. Inhale. Ease your shoulder. Exhale. Inhale. Sending gratitude to yourself, to your body. Thank you for joining me today in this class. I hope to see you in another class. Thank you.